Mark Griswold may appear to be by himself, but this Case Western Reserve professor is not alone. So this is a brain simulation of a patient. This is the virtual room Griswold is in. And those three blue heads around him, they are avatars for world-class surgeons. I'm in Durham, North Carolina right now. I'm in Western Mass on vacation. And I'm in Dublin, Ireland at a meeting. They're thousands of miles apart, but together they're working to revolutionize healthcare as they gather around a 3D rendering of a brain to map out a complex surgery. This kind of consultation used to take days of video calls. Now, using HoloLens technology from Microsoft, it takes perhaps an hour. You tighten it up a little bit in the back. They even had time to let me join in. And here's our surgical planning team. Wow. And what you're seeing in front of us oh, is hi. a brain. My unwashed, untrained hand can go into this brain. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. And it's not just a whole new virtual world for surgery. What you can see now is that we've got a skeleton oh, with us wow. in the room here to see the nerves and how they bundle together inside the spine. Here's what I'm seeing through my headset. I can look at the chest, I can look at the face. It's a new way to teach anatomy that doesn't involve costly cadavers. At Case Western Reserve School of Medicine, researchers have found these virtual models help medical students learn twice as fast and keep the knowledge longer. It's awesome. I think it's like one of the things about studying anatomy is really seeing exactly how it lays in space. Mm. And I don't know that I ever would have gotten that without a like virtual reality experience. And as this technology becomes more widely available, so will this knowledge, even beyond medical school. You'll have high school students arriving with a medical student's command of anatomy if they want it. Exactly. And that's the power of this kind of technology. I could do this in any high school in America as long as I've got a Wi-Fi signal. So here we're just looking at the muscular system. For developing nations, community colleges, even nursing programs where this sort of training may have been off limits, now virtual learning is democratizing what has been an elite understanding of the human body. Jake Ward, NBC News, Cleveland. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.